How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with a very exciting Dragon Ball Fighters video as today was day one of two of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour finale here at the Red Bull Final Summoning event. Now the reason this video exists is because like I said this was day one, we got some announcements on future fighters patches coming soon so I did want to discuss that as well as run down what's going to be going on tomorrow and when you should tune in for the most hype stuff. So let's just get right into it. Today's event was mostly the best players in the world competing to get those last four spots for tomorrow's top eight event. Now to do this, they ran through pools all day long, multiple top eights. After a very, very long and grueling day, this is your final top eight for the events tomorrow. We have Kazunoko, Fenrich, Sonic Fox, Bon Bon Bon, Goichi, Kendevu, Hook Gang God, and Dogura. And of course, the schedule for tomorrow, the top eight events, looks like this. Uh, this is all, you know, West Coast US time. You got 10 a.m. doors open, top eight begins at 11, matches one through eight, matches nine through 14. And then at four is when you get the first big reveal. It's going to be about the Dragon Ball game or Project Z. We talked a little bit about this in the last update video, but there is a new Dragon Ball game on the way. This is slated to be an RPG, something Dragon Ball hasn't seen for a while, but not much more information is known on it. So definitely be around at four if you're trying to get some more info on that. And then at six to seven, we have grand finals that whoever's in it doesn't matter is going to be the biggest fight of the event, regardless of what happens. It's going to be so much fun. And then right after that, right as soon as it ends, we get a Dragon Ball Fighters special announcement. Jiren has already been confirmed. That is 100%. Even the developer said so. But other than him, well, we just don't know yet. They have been teasing us for a long time, but they've done a good job. We have no idea what's coming other than Jiren. So that's pretty much everything for tomorrow. What did we learn today? Well, Bandai did have a little announcement, but it was more of a developer interview than anything. In it, they talked about both Dragon Ball Fighters DLC, how they choose it. Uh, Hell Pocket specifically asked if they were looking at GT characters. They kind of danced around it, but they did say we pick characters based on fan feedback, as well as who we think would be the most interesting to see in a 2D fighter like this. They also talked a little bit about Jiren, and then they got into the really good stuff, covering the changes that they're going to bring to fighters after the finals end. So yes, it is confirmed that changes are coming, but they did mention in some places that they wouldn't be sweeping character balance patch changes. They would mostly be tinkering with mechanic stuff. So what in the mechanics are they really going to be focusing on? Well, for starters, they feel like games are going on for too long. If you're a part of the fighting game community, you've probably heard this talking point before. And for good reason, the fights in Dragon Ball Fighters can be a little bit lengthy. I mean, you know, if you saw the event today, right? It started at 3 p.m. EST and it is midnight while I'm making this video right now. <laughs> but yeah, they are going to be looking at that. Uh, and they also talk about comebacks in this game. They said, we feel 1v3s feel a little too hopeless, so we are going to be looking at how we can change that. Now, I did hear her mention sparking, uh, and this is why a lot of people are saying sparking blast is getting a buff. Uh, they haven't exactly said that, but you know, indirectly, they're definitely hinting at sparking blast getting a little touch up here and there, which might make you afraid. Uh, it, I mean, it's, it is, it gets your, it raises your eyebrows for sure, but they've done nothing but good with this game, so I, I more than trust them with sparking blast. In fact, as of right now, a lot of the pro players were using Sparking Blast as like a level one get off me tool. And the final mechanic they talked about changing was the way Ultimate Z changes work. Uh, they said they wanted to bring in more team variety uh, and that, that Z changes when you use your super moves uh, just wasn't allowing that. So they are going to tinker with that a little bit. Uh, I'm very much interested in what they mean by that, uh, but who knows, maybe they're going to find a way to make it so every character to, can go into every character. Uh, but yeah, not too much is known on that either. So regardless guys, that's the rundown for today. Hopefully you guys either caught the stream or this video did a good enough job of catching you up and please please make sure to make it out tomorrow i will be covering that in a video on this channel so make sure to subscribe and stick around if that's something you're trying to see but yeah guys let me know your thoughts on all of this down below whether or not you're looking forward to that announcement what you think about jiren being 100 in the game or just how you felt about the tournament and if you're looking forward to that dragon ball game reveal oh it's been a long day guys i'm gonna go get some bed rest i can get refreshed for tomorrow uh, hopefully the players are doing that as well because man those guys worked hard today. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I have a few other videos up on your screen right now. If you're still in the mood to watch some Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, those videos should be there for you. Other than that, though, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next video.